Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It is my honor and pleasure uh, to give this uh, short review on this project of depression in chronic communicable diseases. I think this project was conceived, uh, I think, two, uh, one and a half year before uh, when the team from the University of York visited uh, my office. In whole of the third world, in general, in the Pakistan in particular, the communicable diseases are the most common and challenging issue for the healthcare professionals. And out of this, the uh, chronic hepatitis C is a major public health issue in the country. And uh, uh, while we were dealing with these patients, no doubt we have the healthcare facility and uh, expert human resources who diagnose these patients, treat these patients, but the major component of their disability is the depression. The international and the local data suggest that there is a 30 to 50 percent of the patient who have depression uh, while they are suffering from chronic hepatitis C. Most of the time this depression is related to the disease and in couple of uh, patients this is related to the treatment. But anyhow, in both of these reasons the disability of these patients is, is, is uh, you know, compromised and quality of life suffer even we get the rid of hepatitis C and we do have the PCR negative but many of these patients continue uh, with their quality of life and disability psychological disability because they have a depression so I think this was the need analysis and true uh, in a true sense uh, we have to study this project uh, the, the York team agreed that we should work on this project and they wonderfully designed this project they synthesized the hypothesis and they did the training, particularly the capacity building of the people working with us in the center of liver and digestive disease Holy Family. And all of this uh, team uh, worked day and night to train our staff. And ultimately, uh, you know, this project was uh, uh, did according to the, uh, the, the desired SOP which was agreed upon and according to the protocols which was agreed upon by the team. When we have the uh, real-time analysis and situation analysis and need beats analysis and now we have also trained the team I think this is the time uh, not to stop here but carry forward this mission uh, to to, to uh, you know synthesize a new project uh, based on this and it will be really remarkable if we work future and future on this and uh, design some protocol and guidelines to treat the patient of uh, hepatitis C not only with the antiviral but with the antidepressant, psychological consultation and changing lifestyle. Thank you very much indeed. My name is Professor Asad Nizami. I'm a professor of psychiatry and chairman institute of psychiatry at Rawal Pindi Medical University. It's indeed an honor and a pleasure to talk today about this very important CCD project, which is about a communicable diseases project with depression and hepatitis. When we started with this project, or when we were about to start, we had a big question over the feasibility of this program. Now, if you look at the evidence coming from Southeast Asia, that what is happening with patients who come with depression and patients who come with hepatitis, you don't find much evidence, especially coming from this part of the world when I say Southeast Asia. So looking at this aspect, we wanted to go ahead with it to generate some evidence. And over this last many months that we worked with this project, I am pleasured and very happy to know that we generated a very good evidence that what happens with patients who have got depression or what happens with patients who have got hepatitis and they develop depression within that time frame. So at the same time, we had this concern that how we are going to generate this human resource. I am very happy that we had a very, very good team who was doing this project of CCD. I think they did everything very, very cost effectively. And we never had to generate some another human resource to do it, but a very smaller team were able to do that. We developed this integration, so the integration was very cost effective. And within the integration, when we started with this project, I think it was like a kind of partnership between the mental health professionals and between the physicians. So it was like a dual learning from both sides. Uh, at the same time, one of the best aspects was that we were training the physicians, we were training people who are working within a liver center for depression, for at least cleaning it out. For if they are not able to at least treat it, they can always refer it. 
So that's one of the other important aspects that got generated about a capacity building. So not only that we were having a project where we were looking after mental and physical health together, a multi-morbidity concept, but it was like making a bridge between two institutions, two specialities, at the same time generating a very good human resource and also doing a lot of capacity building. Uh, the last bit was that if you've done a wonderful work, you've collated all data, you've published it, what's the next step? The next step is, can you convince the policy makers? I have no doubts that with this data that we generated now, we're going to go with the write-up. I'm sure we will be able to convince the policy makers that when you're making an NCD plan, that's a non-communicable disease plan, I think this important aspect comes in because it is not only just limited to conducting a study, it's actually about establishing a service. And we need to establish these services in the other tertiary secondary care hospitals also. And I would look forward that in future we may be able to do similar other studies and generate a very good evidence. Thank you. Today we're talking about uh, a wonderful project, Impact CCD. Uh, and you know, when this project was first discussed with me, it really touched my heart because we are living in uh, a society where chronic liver disease is quite prevalent, especially when we talk about hepatitis C. Uh, the numbers are very high. And in my real life practice, when I come across patients, they are really suffering uh, not only physically, but uh, psychologically, we do uh, see them suffering from a lot of uh, uh, issues. We are physicians and we are trying to help them uh, and we are really trained uh, in helping them uh, in, a f uh, in their physical ailment. But despite the fact that uh, uh, we want to help them uh, emotionally and uh, through their psychiatric ailment as well, but because of lack of training and lack of confidence, we are unable to do so. But when this concept was first shared with me, uh, I was very excited and really uh, honored uh, when I was asked to coordinate it as well. Uh, though it was quite challenging because I have to motivate my team, I have to uh, link them because of all their challenges and all, all their busy schedule. Uh, we have to uh, train them as well. We have to link uh, uh, the two specialities and we have to uh, link the two specialities with the patients as well. Uh, we have to formulate a design. But uh, thanks God, at the end of all this struggle, uh, I find the whole drill very successful and uh, we are able to pick up uh, the patients in a wonderful way uh, and by the end of the process I find myself very confident that now I can uh, not only uh, pick them, these patients uh, who are not only suffering from the physical uh, ailment but also I can pick their uh, psychological issues in a much confident way but also uh, can treat them in a much better way. And I think so this project is the first step which can help us to lead the improvement of these chronic patients, the standards of their care in a much better way. Thank you. It was indeed a very good and new experience for us as usually we are um, much burdened up with patients who have this chronic liver disease. Uh, but we usually focus on their presenting complaints like um, ascites and upper GI bleed and encephalopathy and we are not very much focused on this uh, uh, psychiatric part of their illness. So it was very new and shocking for us that uh, many of our patients who have this chronic liver disease had this uh, anxiety and depressive disorder which was being overlooked. We were properly trained to implement PHQ-2 and then PHQ-9 and then we were also uh, we were also trained and counseled how to uh, treat the milder form of this depressive illness. So it was indeed a very new uh, learning experience for us. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, we are looking forward to scaling up of this project. Thank you so much. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My name is Nazia Naseem. I am a child nurse working in Hepatitis Infection Control Program, Pakistan. Uh, it is an uh, honor to me being a part of this research. Uh, this project is very helpful for the betterment of the psychological patients who are suffering uh, from uh, chronic diseases like hepatitis. Um, I, am, I have been involved in the, this project uh, as a um, charge nurse of the questionnaires 
PHQ2 and PHQ9. I think so, it should be the part of routine checkup for the chronic hepatitis patients.